Oh, New Zealand won the toss. We'll get first use of the ball. And they will play left to right on your screen. Revolt goes short on the restart, taken comfortably by the New Zealand captain, Dixon. New Zealand will immediately to the left edge. Nice from Moses Leo to open him up. Lovely ball back on the inside. Good hands. And from their very first possession, the New Zealand team are under the post. Well, this is young man in jersey number 15. Yes, Joe Weber is going to get the score. But Moses Leo in jersey 13. I've loved this kid. What I love about him so much. As soon as he receives the ball here from Joe Weber, he backs himself on the outside. What that does, it forces the defence to go over. He's got the vision and the strength to give that ball on the inside to a nice trailing. Regan Weir, who moves it on quickly to Joe Weber. Perfect start for New Zealand. There it is, right to left. There's the gap on the right side. Defence of Argentina. And then once the line was broken, Galtanana said, three players alive on the inside. And Joe Weber. A successful with the kick as well so new zealand jump out to a 7-0 lead now they've got good field position forcing argentina to run from their own five meter line and they break the 22. fraga with a good strong carry now they go to the right edge argentina forcing new zealand to adjust and they keep the ball alive by bringing it back towards the middle argentina now there's the half break and they've opened them up and argentina on their first position Go 95 metres to score under the post. Yeah, Tobias away with the score, but you're right, can great continuity from on in their own 22, five metres out from their own trial, and that's where it started. Gaston Brod, that's the experience. There's the late switch. He decoyed with the pass over the top. New Zealand were caught short defensively because they got broken a couple of times. And then Tobias Wade on that late switch right here. Saw the hole, drew over to the defenders. There's no way. I'm knocking the cold camera cover from that head. No inside help. Good reply, Pumas. Wade converting his own try. So both teams have had one possession each, and it's one try each. I'll tell you what, it's but extreme heat here. In the morning, only 11 o'clock local time. A lot of hands on hips on both sides at the moment. So based on that early logic, it's New Zealand's team to turn to score. Argentina through Wade again. He's through the middle. Hard to handle. And some good hustle from New Zealand in defence. The revolt. The captain. Igor. Gets his big shoulders through the defence line. But concede the penalty. Dixon with the tap. New Zealand initially had a look at the edge and then they come back down the middle, open them up comfortably. And he's coasting away, Rookie Lissor. Yeah, been nominated back in New Zealand as one of the three finalists. New Zealand Rugby Awards for Sevens Player of the Year because of things he can do like that. Brilliant with his footwork, outstanding with his vision. Look at him, he just slows it here. There's the power through the tackle and the fend as well. Not many people get Herman Schultz like that with a fend right in the middle of his chest. Absolute supreme timing on their left hand fend from Rockley Saw. And as you said, Kent, New Zealand's turn to score points, and they did. Conversion from Rocky Lesort. So three positions each for three tries. Argentina's turn. There's nothing wrong with the quality of the attack. Not, not sure about the tackling goal to none. Kick is short. And there's the mistake that Argentina wanted and New Zealand didn't want right, right after scoring points. So Gaston Revol is going to go on to the ball. He's got some good carriers too. Both sides are saying go left, I think, here. 
So they come to the left, Gonzalez. Revolt on the wraparound. And now Fraga. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Not on the ball. A little bit of footwork from Gonzalez. That first receiver not taken by the first two defenders. Inside the New Zealand 22 with the ball, Argentina. It's a good competition. Revol plays halfback. On the Zook. A nice and patient Argentina through Wade. Now they're 15 metres out, advancing towards the try line. A little wrap around in the dummy by Schultz. The tackler drops off. Yeah, they're just so strong and short corridors. They only used about 15 minutes in their whole build-up, and then when they did decide to go right, New Zealand were caught short. They had to put numbers into that defensive effort. Here's the late switch. And the strong run by Herman Schultz. New Zealand are down to six defenders. I think it was Regan Ware who's hurt himself, and he's still down, but this game going to plan. One team scores, the other team scores, and there's the successful conversion. Well, that's exactly the way the game's gone. Both teams have had two positions each of the ball. In this opening, six minutes and ten seconds, and they've scored twice each. Oh, nasty. You okay? Oh, it's Regan Ware. It's good to see him back. Up on his feet. An integral part to this All Black Sevens outfit. A soldier experienced player, too. Play multiple positions. He'll go back and lift. I've asked for time on, so it should be taking over now. So good to be back in Dubai. The spectacle of the HSBC World Series 7s and its impact across the globe. The time on, please. And what it's meant for our game and the growth oh, of our game. Off. And the anticipation of the tournament. Returning here with crowds. A real buzz around Dubai the last couple of days as New Zealand. From inside their own half now, Dixon on the right edge, a big left hand fend. Then the offload. Now Manaki, Nicole. So they've got some big boys out there now. Again, nothing doing on the right edge of the Argentina defence. So New Zealand come back with a cutout ball for Dixon. Runs over the top of the first defender. He's got a good pass from Regan Ware just to give Sam Dixon a little bit of room. With an Argentina straight on that ball. Matthias had such shock. He's just so good in that department. I'm sure they'll just go down the line here. Go line out and try and score before the half here, Argentina. Eight. Look, that's a good turnover at Ruck. Great kick. Give Argentina the chance to have the last say. They've got a good pack. It was on such shock they've got. That's your mark, please, New Zealand. Herman Schultz as well. And then Gonzalez is an absolute terminator. So it's a big pack. You can see nearly a third of their tries from line out and scrum. So the captain, Revolt, goes short. Now way to fish receiver. Trying to go on the outside of the defence to create a two-on-one. And then a beautiful offload. That's a great try. Not much time and not much space. But some nice angled running and a beautiful show of skill with the offload to close out the half. Yeah, well, the secret was when Wade got the ball, he went off. That first receiver at full speed right here. That draws the defender, so that creates a one-on-one. -on -one. Good outside step. And Leo bites on the outside, and like you see again, that's a great pass from what starts shook. Oh man, oh man, no defense for that. Well, you can't coach class, as they say.
Olympic gold medal champions wherever they go around the world they light our game up oh yeah and they love playing here in Dubai one oh no geez multiple tiles but what an introduction to the World Series for Uruguay it's gonna be a massive game they won't be shy a bit of warm their shoulders up with Argentina the ball from the kickoff it goes behind Igor secured by Rocky Lee saw it and now Tony Nashu with a good carry lovely bit of footwork Weber in the middle of the park then a nice ball over the top for Moses Leal it'll be Leal's name on the score sheet but that is all Joe Weber oh, I'll tell you what Joey Weber looks real sharp to the start of the season his footwork is absolutely supreme in the build up to this one receives a ball from where whack whack and one more whack and then he gives it over Outstanding here from Joe Weber. Moses Leo with a nice, tidy finish. Able to get there before Wade. And then look what he saw. No problem with the conversion. 21-19. Four looked like it went forward off Dixon. No call from the referee. He's tripped over you and you're in an on five position. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it was a good right. restart the first one for New Zealand, which they regathered down with you. I'm dubious, but they got the penalty anyway. The Pumas, you can see there, they just slow it right down. They'll go to the set piece, a lot of hands on hips That's again good. for the start of this one. And New Zealand will be conscious of that, they want to lift the tempo. Substitution 64 black. Okay, time off. 64 black sub. Time off. Leroy Carter is coming along for Regan. Where? Okay, time off. Lead. We've got some presence. Carter. And the line out won by Schultz. Again, straightening up in the middle, Wade. He is a big, big threat with the ball for Argentina in the middle of the park. And now, Ozdazik with a lovely right foot step. They've got great field position off a quick recycle. Gonzalez gets the ball away. Now, Schultz. It's Gonzalez. Ozdazik gets the ball away. They've got a little two on one. They keep their head. They'll be in on the left edge. Fraga for Argentina. Yeah, I love their manipulation of space, Argentina. What they're doing when they're challenging New Zealand line, New Zealand to force themselves and make going low on the tackles. If they do break free, it causes defence to jam in. If you're good enough with your skill work, you can get outside that defence, and that's exactly what Argentina do. Joeva goes low, skips out of the tackle. Rockley saw has to hold, wait for Leo to come across, and then Nashu is compromised facing in. Good skill. Both. There's a timeline of points scored, as you can see. And just basically, your turn, my turn. You go, said you go. Yeah, well, New Zealand. Find themselves okay. behind okay. by three right. points, so they desperately need this restart right now. They're dropping back now. Shoot, takes it on the 22. Now Carter tips on Dixon. He's a formidable player with the ball on the edge. Dixon is big unit. Now they recycle and shift back towards the left edge. Nicely done, Marshu, but he loses the ball. He did well with his footwork to open it up. Now Argentina with a narrow chance down the right edge and then a lovely inside ball. Beautifully finished. Great try, Argentina. Rosetto. Just one half a look at the All Black Sevens line. And they're in, Argentina. Oh, could have easily been a try down the other end. Nashu.
Nice carry, the ball just on the fingertips of Rockley Saw. Look at the way they switched defence into attack, the mindset by the Pumas, yeah, fantastic. Gusson Revolt was the last defender. And then it's Tobias Wade, who I think has been fantastic in this game, passes it on to Fraga, who stays in a great supporting line. There's the last movement, takes out two defenders. Good score from Pumas. With that conversion, which is successful, it pushes out to a two-score advantage for the Pumas now. So they'll just try and slow this right, right down. We see where Revolta captain puts the kick. He decides to put it short, secured. Yeah, he left it because he's offside. Initially well by New Zealand, but then they turn it over. So now they have the ball. They're inside their opponent's half, and they lead by 10 points. Argentina, it's their game to lose from here. They moved you first. Revolt. The try score. Rosetto at the line with the ball in two hands. Error. And then a loose pass. And they're going to be gifted one of those two scores that Carl Tanana alluded to. With one loose pass, they're under the post at the other end. Nice job. Nice shoot. Oh, it's a rush that scores again in Dubai. Come on, his impact. There's the pressure by Shea Clark, and there's the time and intercept by Brady Rush. He will go the length, and he's given New Zealand the chance. Has the number two. Multi-skilled. He's a tough kid as well. He will go all day. Great to see him here shining in Dubai. And the conversion of Brady Rush. Tries good, so now we're down to one play. New Zealand initially won that ball, but then to, and they get the penalty. White, not ten. Advantage. Now they need to create something. Rush. Flows the ball. It's turned over. Argentina. It's gone five. Oh, it might be an issue here. It might be going oh, to the team. Yeah, he's knocked on as you call it advantage. Sorry, oh, so I just see they just need to scrum and kick it out. It'll be a win. It was again on. Oh, it's, yeah. Again, it was on for New Zealand. There was space. I thought they were going to late switch. Try to pass it through the tackle. The clock is red as well. You Oh, this roller coaster. There we go. Complete. Standards, lads. A form for New Zealand and for Argentina continues this time. Crouch. Full time on the clock. The pendulum will swing in favour of Argentina. They just need to win the scrum. Kick the ball out. Stay behind, nine. Offside. And record another memorable victory, Argentina. Every time they beat the All Black Sevens, it's a special day for them. Doesn't happen that often. But a deserved win, Argentina. 31 over New Zealand, 28. A delight for Argentina. Disappointment. For New Zealand, but they had their chances. Oh, the Pumas are the real deal, that's for sure. They're a very good outfit, so they'll be 